So this video will try to show you how you can easily upload the uh, firmware for OTA and then connect to the App Store to download the other software. I'm very happy that I made a handmade ESP boy. Yes, that's the module created by espboy.edu, led by Romans. And I'm very happy that I can play this game. Yeah, this is all built using the ESP8266, the NOC MCU. The core of the MCU is the NOC MCU. We also have the I2C IO extender MCP23017. And I use a buzzer for the sound output. I modified the circuitry of uh, Mr. Roman's design a bit because I'm lazy. I don't want to hook up too many wires. So I just didn't put in the uh, transistor for amplification and other LED or other things. So I just have a bare bone unit just to play the games. Um, I put in a reset button here. If you reset with the A button pressed, you will be able to download a lot of the games. Right? Yeah, I have to hold it longer. You can then connect to your Wi-Fi and hook up to uh, the ESP for EDU's software server and then you can uh, get a list of applications you can download including all the games so pressing both left and right side button allow you to scroll through the game uh, you can find the game which have multiple different platforms a b means Archie boy you can play the Archie boy games or lge means the little game engine they are all written into different libraries EZX is the old emulator for the old computer EZX. Uh, GB means the Game Boy emulator. So let's try the um, Archie Boy Low Runner, which is number 8. So I press left and right side button at the same time again, and then I can use this very smart keyboard left and right up and down to select the button you want to hit and then press the sort A to select if you mistype press the B to go back it's very easy if you are ready to press enter I just go here for the enter key which is E E means enter or you just Press the long press A key. Press the A key for a long, long time. And then you will assume that it is. And then you keep pressing the A key for a long time. It will keep downloading the game. So everything is up on the server. You don't need to carry your own ROM. Uh, thanks to uh, espboy.edu, the whole team worked very hard to put the games there. Downloading takes a while, around 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how server, uh, how busy is the server. I'm not able to compile the original Arju Boy library uh, for ESP Boy. I'll show you why, and I still can't fix that problem. So I'm making this video to see if anyone have experienced similar problem can help me. So downloading is complete and it will reset by itself. Going to the little game engine now. I use a uh, volume controller, 10k resistor, and there's also a jack for my headphone. Let's 
go back to the main menu. Hit the left and right side button together and let's find another game. Uh, this time I will run the famous Archie Boy game called Misty Balloon number six. So hit both left and side button together again. Go back to the input mode and then just use the right arrow key to go to number six. Press the A and then press A for long shots. Keep pressing until it gets downloaded. Okay, so now it's downloading. Okay, now it's our Jew boy. And we have the Mystic Balloon play. To upload the firmware, if you are using Windows 10, you just go to your browser, search for Fresh Download Tools ESP8266, and then you'll find this expressive system link, right? You'll choose the first one called Tools, and then it will bring you to the Tools menu. Look for the Fresh Download Tools, click that and uh, download. Then you can open it, it's a zip file, so you will need to unzip it using your tools in Windows. To the folder where it's unzipped, and then run this fresh download tools, x 5 Select the developer mode. And then the ESP8266 download tool on the top. So unplug your USB cable from the ESP port. And then let's look at the COM port menu. Look at the existing COM port, only COM1 is available. And we take a look of that. Then plug in the USB cable. You'll find that a new port will be shown when you click on the COM port menu. Oh, you see, COM3 is the new port, so this must be the one connected to the USB port of ESP Boy. And then go there and click on this Auto Detect Setup menu, so you don't need to worry about all this hardware setting, it will be all auto detected and set up as such. Next, you need to find the firmware file. I downloaded the binary file of the initial OTA menu for ESP Boy. So I'll put the link at the description, you can find it and download the same. Then you can select it. Then all the address at put in zero. That means you are uploading the firmware at the beginning of the memory for pull up. And then select the file, you will see it turn green. Next click start and the upload should begin. You see it's quite fast because you are using a very high bot speed or more than 1 million bot. So if you find that your ESP boy couldn't take it and got error, you can try to click the bolt and lower the bolt rate to a lower speed like 460800 or something lower. That will usually work. The Adreno IDE, these two will not auto-reboot your device. So you need to press 
the reset button of the device to reboot it. See, you got the uh, Wi-Fi boot up menu. So you can follow the steps we mentioned at the beginning of the video to start scanning your Wi-Fi and then connect to your home Wi-Fi and start downloading the games. Now let me show you how to do the firmware upload using the Mac. The first step is to enable the root account. You can go to this document here. I'll put a link in the description. It will show you step by step how to enable the root account of your Mac. You need this to type some Unix commands. So let's start working on it. First click on the settings, user and group. And then go to the login options. Unlock the uh, lock first. Put in your own ID and password. To unlock it, you need to have the administrator rights to do it. Then next, go to the login options. And then click join. And then open directory utility. And then you also need to unlock it a second time. Put in your password again. Now go back to the top of the screen, click on the menu, edit, enable root user. This is the password you want to give to your root account. Make sure you write it down. Otherwise, uh, you can't use it when you do the su command in Unix. So that's it. You have your root account enabled for your Mac. Next is install the esp2.py. It's a Python command. So first, you need to uh, go to the terminal. If you don't know how to go to the terminal, just use search and find the terminal.app. Once you're in, type su, put in the root password, and then type this command. p3 install esp2. See that the tools are being installed. Then we can now use the tools to upload the firmware. Thing you do is plug your ESP boy into the USB port of your computer. Then you can go to the terminal and type this command ls slash dev slash cu asterisk. It will list all the ports that looks like a ESP boy port. So this is the one we need slash dev slash cu dot USB serial one. That's 1440. The exact port name may be different in your computer. So just copy using Command C this port number. Next, we need to find the file that we need to upload. I downloaded it in here ESP Boys OTA INOD1 Mini.bin. So I'll put a link in the description so you can download it yourself. Now let's type the command esp2.py double dash port and then command v to copy our port name there and press the right arrow to accept that. Put a space and then we need to use the functional command right fresh space and then zero. Zero is the starting memory address of the firmware. So we want to upload it to the start of the memory. Next we need to find our firmware file that we want to upload. Go to the finder to highlight it and drag it over to the terminal. This way the full path name will be typed in directly and press the right arrow to accept the whole line. Now we can press enter to do the upload. Since we didn't specify the boat parameter, the upload is done slowly at a safe speed. If you want to go faster, if you have a better quality NOC MCU board, then you may want to add a parameter called dash dash boat uh, with the speed you want. For example, you can go to a higher speed like uh, the one used by Arduino IDE, which is a 460800. You'll find that the speed of upload is twice as fast. So uh, you can try that next time.
After the upload, um, it will reset your ESP VoIP, and you will see this screen. You need to hold the button B while you reset and keep holding the button B until you see the scanning Wi-Fi menu. Like this. Check which Wi-Fi SSID you're using at home and identify the number. For me, it's number one, so I just go to uh, select one in the keyboard, and then I have to move all the way to the letter E at the bottom right corner. That means enter. And then I press A to choose enter. Okay, now I need to input the password in the same way. When you input the password, uh, you may need to shift to an uppercase, right? So how do we do that? You can go to this uh, little upper pointing arrow here to shift shift to the application, like, like what I'm doing now. So after inputting the password, you will try to connect to your Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi connection complete, server OK. And then it will uh, list out all the games you can see. Uh, as we repeated before, just press left and right side buttons and then you can scroll up in time to find your game. For example, let's try the um, number 22. Two, maybe. Okay, let's press both side buttons again to go back to the input mode. And then we'll uh, go to number 22. Let's press the A, 2, and then 2 again. And then long press A. Keep pressing until it's downloaded. Yeah, now it's downloaded. Is downloading. Okay, and now it's rebooting. Wow, it's nice, very colorful. Usually, you press the top button start the game. Well, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please click like and subscribe and send to your friends to watch too. See you in my next video. I don't know how. Oh, I can move out. Hmm. Okay, so that's it.